Hey, hey, you tourists, it's your boy Domination. This is back on the base of Chugger the Juice and Time Takes Baby Man. This is back, you know, this is this. Real Man Rasa, Fig Man Rasa, Real Rasa, Fig Rasa, I'm proud to our preacher, preach on. And welcome to the Back to the Basic broadcast, Back to the Basic, and the previous episodes of all the songs, even though we did the new. Uh, new new seasons of episodes of those songs, but we do the previous episodes I never done in a YouTube. But we gotta talk about the review of Music Youth. It, it's sad about this group. It, it really is. You know the tragics and the and the and the um the the financial problems and the uh, and you know and and and. and Miss out of lessons to these kids. They they use these kids. They use them. They really did. And their parents, the record labels, they didn't look out for them. They didn't look out for their best interests for the royalties that they had. I'm gonna say this to brothers and sisters. If you're gonna think about going to the music industry, you better control your finance. I'm serious. And control your masters. And you better read these contracts before you sign them. And a very young age. Hold on for a second. Hold on. I, oh, okay. Well, I'm back. I was doing something. Anyway, when you get in the industry, control your finance, control your recording uh, masters, and also control, read a contract before you sign. Because please don't go through this what every music artist has to deal with, men or women, for you can handle your financial better and stay independent because this major industry is just tearing everybody apart. And you'll see why. But let's talk about the music youth. <laughs> And the the ups and the downs of the rise and fall of the music you. Because let's talk about this. Because I hate when they use children in the industry. I really do. Because it's not right. Children should be have a better finance, a better handle their finance much as, just as much as anyone. Music Youth are a British Jamaican. Uh, okay, Music Youth are a British Jamaica reggae band a form in 1979 in Predaham, England they are best remembered for their successful 1982 single past the duchy which becomes a number one hit around the world the group record two uh, uh, two studio albums they uh, the two studio albums and release a numbers of successful uh, singles throughout 1982 and 1983, including a collabo with Diana Summers, rest in peace, in The Unconditional Love. The Music Youth earned a Grammy Award no uh, nominee before it disbanded in 1985. After a season of personal pro uh, problems, the band re re returned in 2001 as a duo. Yeah. And they did have, you know, uh, uh, personal problems. It did. If they was in Jamaica, I guarantee they'll look out for this group. But but no disrespect to London, but London didn't, didn't look out for them like they should. But if it was in Jamaica, it'd be a different story. Because one thing about reggae artists, they make sure they look out for them and look for their best and make sure their music be taken and very serious. Jamaicans, man, they love music. They do, especially reggae. And the birth of reggae from the uh, the uh, the Wonders or something like that, Bob Marley's group, the Wonders, and, and all the pioneers from the reggae music industry. History. The group was performed. The, the, the group was performed perform in 1979 when the father of Kenny and Mike uh, Michael Grant as Michael Grant and and and, and Fred uh, Rick known as Junior and Patrick rest in peace Patrick one of them put together a band featured their sons the letter of a, 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 a parents of the fathers, Frederick, a well as senior. Fred, Frederick, a well as senior, has been a member of the Jamaica reggae group, the, 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 the technique, 
Frederick song lead is the song lead with Julia at the start of the music youth career and all through schoolboy the group management to other sure digs at different bread of him probably and release a double single in 1981 include the songs general and political on a local local label zero twenty one records name it after the then front of the area code <laughs> it, it, it appeared on BBC which is stand for a British uh, uh, pronouncing uh, uh, British announcing a uh, 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 commission of radio something like that one John Hill's uh, even show brought the fought, fought, fought the attention to the group, and th and then they are they are signed to MCA Records. By that time, the founder member Fred Rick and Waddle Jr. has backed down to be replaced by Demarcus. Singleton as a lead singer. Yep. So he was supposed to be in the group, but you know, I th I guess he he it was a replacement to that group. You know, it's it's really it's really sad, man. They, they, that that Fred Rick, you know, uh, uh, one of the uh, a, a, a senior or a junior, whatever. I mean, they they lost a brother, man. Th that is hard to deal with, man. The little boy right there, that's uh ju junior. And the other little boy, um, I think that's Fred, uh, Rick, uh, Fred, uh, one of the boys, one of the boys in the, in the group. Uh, Fred, okay, one is 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 uh, Fred Rick, uh, 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 Fred Rick Jr. Well, a uh, uh, Walter Jr. of okay, and for a uh, 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 senior, something like that. They had two different names, but they lost their older brother right here. It's it's really sad, and I'm gonna tell you that in a few minutes. In September 1982, the group was the issue, one of the fastest selling singles of the year, Pass the Duchy, based on the Mighty Diamonds, Pass the Kutchy. They they had to change it because it was talk about, because the other group talked about marijuana. They're talking about the kids that sing about how do you feel when you can't afford to get the food to eat, to, to cook food in the pot? That's what they were talking about. A song about passing a pipe using to smoke cannabis. The title has been subtly added to a, to, to, to a feature. The, the Pati uh, Dutch preferred to a type of pot using for cooking. Yep. The idea was to read a foreman throughout the political and academy overtone, overtone of the song about exploiting poverty and the music youth asking the question, how does it feel when you got no food? That, that's very true. The recording went to number one in the UK single charts in October 1982. It went on to sell over 4 million copies and was nominee for a Grammy. A top 10 place also followed on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States. Their debut album, The Youth of Today, was certified gold in the UK. While the follow-up single, the youth of today, reaching number fifth, number thirteen in the UK charts on uh, UK singles charts. I mean, and never gonna give you up. Release early in 1983, and char uh, climb, uh, uh, climbing to the UK number six. The model goes to successful with Heartbreaker and Tell Me Why are successfully by a collaboration with Dinah Summers on the UK top 20 hit 
unconditional love. The group was also take a part in in in, in her 1983 TV's special, A Hot Summer Night, with some with that with hot a hot summer night with Diana. Their second single, their second single album, their second single album, Different Styles, was released in 1983 and showcased it more R&B influence relative to, to make the band more uh, uh, access in the North America, but flop on both British and American market. And another day of the Dusty and Dusty of 007 saw them back in the top 30 and after one final hit with 16 their uh, uh, commercial success ended the group received a grammy award nominee for the best new artist at the uh, Gram uh, Gr grammy award of 1984 when their career goes d downhill the members of the the, the band members becomes a small in in legal and and finance and personal per, per, uh, per, personal problems in 1985 dennis humbly left the the group he did left the group because he ain't gonna let nobody take advantage of him he was the oldest one he was like 16 15 at the time and led it, it to this uh, 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 this dissolution of uh, this uh, uh, solution, the Grant brothers remain involved in the music uh, uh, industry. Son of Laser released a solo album in 1989 before joining on to form their own band, XMY, and playing for a reunion of the music youth. Huntsley, or Huntsley when Patrick Wallen, who has gone on to a career of juvenile crime, it, it, it's sad, and died in probably him in in February 1993, only 24 years old. He escaped from a hardly heart attack and a condition and a condemnation album, and I, and it's, uh, 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 largely was released in 1994. Followed by the Immassable Volume, The Best of Music Youth in 1995. Now, derivative to a duo, Mike, Mike Marcus, I mean, M M Michael Grant and Dennis Arlington reformed M M Music Youth in 2001 and the place of it, a, 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 and planted a tour. However, the tour, the, the tour uh, uh, plans are cancel during to the September 11th attacks in 2003 music you finally performed as a part of the here and now tour and it out of the, of the seasons of not only a uh, uh, of concerts featured by performance by musicians of the 1980s and colonization album was released in 2004 20th century master of the millennial uh, 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 collection in 2005. The band performed at the Royal Festival in Australia in, in 2009. They released a cover of Mentally M. Uh, Mary Boy Child, Oh My Lord, followed by Jimmy Cliff. The harder they, they come in 2013, their new album when Re when when reggae was the king, was the king, it was scheduled for release in 2016, then early 2017, but yet ha but 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 have yet to materialize. They perform the tracks from the album at the Kentucky of Calling the festivals at the Hammer of, of, of Hall on, on 26, I mean 27 August 2017. In, in 2018, Kevin Grant record and release a solo album, Defend Them, in the United States. In 2019, 
Dennis and Robert will perform at the Hanover uh, 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 Carnival in Hanover, uh, 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 Influence of music you are influenced by reggae artists much as Sugar, Melody, and Ashley, and Gregory uh, Oscar, Dennis Brown, John Hunt, and Brett Bre- Bre- Yee, or something like that. And here's the bandmates. Dennis Evelson was born the, uh, the 2nd March 1967. Leads vocal and per, 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 percussion in, in 1979, 1985, and 2001 present. Freddie Jr. Waller, born 23 May 1967, drum and vocalist, and 1979 to 1985. Kevin Grant, born 9 January 1971, guitar and the vocalist, and 1979. In 1985, Michael Grant, born 7 January 1969, keyboard and a vocalist, 1979, 1985, and 2001 present. Patrick Wallens, born 16 May 1968, 18 to February 1993, bass 1979. In 1985, rest in peace to Patrick Wellens, because it's sad he he passed away because this man was broke. He didn't have much money like he should have. It, it's sad about Fred uh, Jr., the lead singer, the dude that you know, the little guy. He lost his brother. He lost his brother, man. He lost his older brother, somebody he admired. What I was meant to say this: this is Jr. right there. And the other that his brother right here, Patrick Wilder, this is um Fred uh, Wilder Sr. This is uh, 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 no Fred. Uh, 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 okay, let me see the members. All right, let me see the members. Uh, cause one one of them, you you know, what I'm saying, cause one of them is senior. Senior is the older brother. The other is junior. This is junior, and that is senior. Because Patrick Wilder Sr. and uh, Fred Wilder Jr. This is Jr. He lost his brother, man. His older brother. It's sad. He, he was uh, uh, robbing a pregnant woman, shooting a pregnant woman, stuff like that. You, you, you think about it. He was 24 years old, man. He didn't. Ha- he was broke. He didn't have much money. That, that showed you that the music industry ain't shit. That, that showed you a lot about, I'm telling you, man, and, and like... Jamaica is pretty hard out there. You have no idea until you go down there, you start seeing people in a little bit of poverty. And I'm telling you, man, welcome to Jam Rock. Bob Marley's son was lying about that song because the way that's going on, you have no idea that people got to do anything to will to make it and to survive. But they just go by wrong things of doing it. So here's their album, studio albums, 1982. The the youth of today, UK gold, United States, Canada went gold, and 1983, a different style. It didn't make it. And then the, the collaboration albums, 1987, past the Duchy, 1994, and add add a and add a and 1995, a messable of volume, the best of music youth. And 2004, 20th Century Masters, the the Millennial Collection, the best of music youth. And here's their songs: General and Political, 1981, 1982, Past the Duchy, and Youth of Today, Never Gonna Give You Up, and 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 Heartbreaker, and Tell Me Why, and 007, She's in Trouble. In 1983, in 1984, 16, what's uh, talk about? Let's go to the moon. And t- 2009, Mary, boy, child, oh, and, 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 and 
oh my lord and 2013 the harder that they come it's sad about this band it really is man and it's so sad why when i watch this episode they heard their music on the wedding singer and it was on the movie it was on the soundtrack when there was a part where when um general uh, uh when 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 drew barrymore was driving the car with with uh with Adam Sandler or driver with her mother, whatever, they heard they it was Music Youth was on the radio. It was their record was being played, and what's so sad about it? One of the people that 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 part of the record business called Music Youth. Hey, you know I heard y'all song on the movie. Y'all should get y'all royalties right now. You know how sad it is. Even their parents was taking earning monies from them. And you would think the parents just as responsible as the record companies. They both responsible. They didn't look out for them. They didn't. Rest in peace to Patrick. It's sad he passed away because he was a starving, starvation to broke. He didn't have money. So he go into the streets. And that's why some most people would do. They'd go to the streets and they didn't have anything. They came of amount of a poverty. And that, that's it. that happened to anybody. It can happen to Beatles. If Beatles did not make it, I guarantee you, Elton John, he'd be probably robbing stores somewhere or still in snatching coats. Because John Lennon, I mean, not Elton John, John Lennon. John Lennon was a bad boy. John Lennon was out there, was doing this and that, and got in trouble and got grease in his hair and, and, and didn't want to be making in the music business. And it was a way to them to able to make it. And they were dressed like bad boys with... Dressed like Greaser Jackson, Greaser's hats. Because otherwise, if John did not, John Lennon didn't make it, he would have been in the streets all his life. And he didn't he didn't get the chance to, go, to graduate, go to college. He barely don't even know his dad. His dad left him at a very young age. And it's, and, and it's pretty sad. He didn't have nothing back but music. He dropped out of high school. He dropped out of school. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. It's really sad. That show you that the music industry ain't shit, and it takes needs responsible how they manage to take advantage of people, especially they mismanage the children. And parents need to be more involved in kids' life. So let's just pray for this band, even though they, I hope they handle their financial better, and I know they is. And it's sad they lost a member right there, because I know it's tough for, for this boy right here lost his brother. Because he didn't, he didn't have much money that the pocket that the money that he should have. If they was in Jamaica, I guarantee they'll look out for him more than the better than the the USA instead of the the, the British, the the United Kingdom. So pray to music you, their music will live on, and hopefully they'll learn from this these transatlantic events that would never happen to anyone ever again. I hope he learns for the best or the better. All right, all right. It's your boy Domination. This is back in the basic. Show the deuces out of Texas, baby. Until next time. All right, all right. Peace. I'm out. All right, peace.